Okay, this first solve is reasonably straightforward. We've got these three, or we can choose to do the yellow cross, uh, the yellow center first, sorry. Um, I would probably go for the white center just because it's more straightforward, but I'm going to try and obviously plan my second center as well entirely. So I've got these three and this one, which I can insert easily. Then I've got these two at the back here. So I can do something like <coughs> u d prime r, u prime d r prime, like that, to solve those and create this one by two. And then I've got this one by two over here. So I can just insert it like so. Now I don't see anything immediately obvious on the yellow side, so I'm going to rotate and start my cross on white. I've got these two, which I can insert there. Um, then I've got these two, which I saw whilst I was doing that. Then, um, hmm, probably go for the white and blue. So this white and blue and this white and blue, like that. And the first thing that I see is very easily this yellow, this red center can be created in one move, like so. Shift the cube down, then I've got this one, which I can insert into this blue side, blue face here. And so I've got these two, shift them down again, insert those two down there. Now I've got my last two centers. Like so. And now I've got this solved pair here, so I don't want to disturb it. I don't, I, well, I don't want to um, scramble it, so I can do the last cross edge something like this. And as I was doing that, this one was formed as well. So again, getting quite lucky with some of these edge cases. Um, I'm going to do a wide U prime so that I don't uh, wide U prime insert in these two slots, and then when I slice back, I'll, this one will be, will be will stay solved. So wide U prime, uh, blue and orange, blue and orange, red and uh, red and green, red and green. And as I'm doing that, I notice this yellow and green one will go to this position here. So I can go straight away and insert this yellow and green one there. So slice again, create that. This green and orange, this green and orange, this yellow and blue one will go to the back here. So this yellow and blue one belongs here. Slice, flip, and slice back. So those are those are my edges in that solve. So now the first F12 pair is not very nice at all. Um, I kind of think, I imagine I would see this first in a solve, these two, which I can solve like that. Then again, this we don't have a very good case. Maybe we could do something like r prime u2 r, then keyhole this one, then these two, and then these two. Oh, low parity. OLL r. Uh, Wait, is this a one class layer case? Yes, it is. And we're solved. Okay, um, in this scramble, the yellow center is the easiest one to do between the white and yellow. So I guess I would go for the yellow one first, um, just figuring out the best way to solve it. So I can go something like L, then f prime d prime and then i can go r2 f2 r to create those as well as finish off the yellow center now i've got these two which i can attach by doing r prime and then u2 and then insert it like so and as i was doing that well a couple of things popped up i've got this yellow and orange solved edge so i can immediately go ahead and use that and insert it into the yellow layer like so now, again, a few different options. I can got, I've got these two, which might be a little bit tedious, a little bit troublesome to insert into um, the back position there. So I might go for the red and yellows first, like that. And then I've got these two, which are more easily inserted, like that. Now I've got, mm, yeah, heaps of different options for my next pieces. Um, yeah, I honestly don't know what I'd choose. I think the first thing that I saw were these red ones. So I'd probably just go for the red center, even though it may not be the most efficient in the long run. Um, so I'd solve it like that. And then I need to solve the green center pieces onto the top here. I've got these two green ones down here and these two up here. So I can pair these up like that. 
and then do R2, U2, R2. And then shift that to the bottom. And then my last two center case is very straightforward. Um, then for the last cross edge, I have a decent, uh, I, have a, I have a pretty bad case, sorry. I've got these, this one here and this one here. So I can do something like U, insert U prime, and then D2, R, D2, like that. And for my first um, slice move, I'm going to do a U prime because I see this one and this one already. So I can insert this one in the back right here. Then I've got the blue and red. This blue and red one is here. Then the green and white, and this one is here. So I can just flip it. And as I'm slicing back, I'm looking already for this white and blue one, which is up here. Its partner is, uh, sorry, it, the, this is the blue and orange. Its partner is over here. So I can slice, insert, slice back. And now I've only got three edges left. Um, what I would probably do is the white and orange. So slice, insert, and slice back. And now I'm off to my F2L. Um, probably do these two first, because it's the first thing I see. These two. Um, oh, I see that if I insert this F2L pair, like that, I'm gonna get this really bad case. So what I'll do actually is insert these two into the back right slot first, and then do these two. And this is a nice VLS case. And now we've got PLL parity and no PLL and it's solved.